In this moment of earnest prayer, we come together to seek divine guidance and provision, recognizing that our needs are known to the Creator who cares for us. Let us delve into the sacred wisdom that assures us of God's abundant care and the faith that sustains us in times of financial uncertainty. Let us delve into the sacred wisdom that assures us of God's abundant care and the faith that sustains us in times of financial uncertainty. As we gather, let us remember the words of Matthew 6, 26, 27. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? In this truth, we find solace and a reminder of the divine care that extends even to the smallest creatures. In the Lord's Prayer, we find the simple yet profound request. Give us this day our daily bread. This plea, found in Matthew 6:11, acknowledges our reliance on God's provision for our basic needs. It is a testament to our trust that He understands our necessities and provides for us according to His perfect plan. In the same chapter, Matthew 6.33, we are admonished. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This verse reminds us that when we prioritize our spiritual well-being and align our lives with God's will, he takes care of our material needs. Reflecting on Philippians 4.11, 12, we learn, I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. This teaches us the valuable lesson of finding contentment regardless of our financial situation. In 2 Corinthians 9, 6, 7, we discover the principle of sowing and reaping. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. This passage encourages us to approach our financial matters with a spirit of generosity and trust in God's provision. Psalm 37, 25 assures us, I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. This verse provides comfort in the knowledge that God's faithful provision extends throughout our lives, even in times of hardship. Dear Heavenly Father, in this moment of prayer, we acknowledge your sovereignty over our lives and our financial circumstances. Just as you care for the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, we trust that you know our needs and will provide for us. Help us seek first your kingdom and righteousness, finding contentment in your abundant grace. Grant us the wisdom to sow generously and to give with cheerful hearts, knowing that you love a cheerful giver. As we journey through life, may we never forget your promise that the righteous are never forsaken. We place our trust in your unfailing love and provision. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Subscribe to Empowering Daily Prayers for a guided journey of spiritual upliftment.